got a little bit uh, crazy at the end there, but uh, just describe sort of the end of the game. Um, I mean, we had some some real crazy <laughs> mistakes that guys usually don't do, but um, we were able to poise up and, and just get back in it and, and get a stop and, and win the game. For you personally, where do you think you've seen the biggest growth uh, in your game from, you know, I know it's only a small sample size, three games, but from game one to, to now? Um, I mean, just just coming out and, and just playing my game, um, no matter if my shot's falling or not, just being able to stay focused and, and keep getting the get big rebounds or keep defending and, and just keep doing the little stuff, no matter if my shot's falling or not. Nice game, 11 and 11, but the, the big three uh, did what they do. How much are you learning from Yak? And, and Siakam and Fred? Uh, I mean, just, just learning the system um, from those guys, just watching Yak and watching P and watching Fred. Um, I mean, they've been in the system for a year now, and um, I'm just, just just leading behind them, following behind them, and trying to pick up different stuff, pick up the little stuff, and, and go from there. Is there something uh, you want to work on going heading into the playoffs, or what's the next step for your game here at Summer League? Uh, I mean, the next step for me is basically just to get in the gym and get extra shots up, um, get extra shots up, shoot free throws, and, and just continue to keep doing what I'm doing. So, the team is now 3-0 and going in. Describe the level of comfort uh, with this group going into the playoffs. Uh, I mean, we're happy with 3-0, and but um, never satisfied. I mean, obviously, you can lose any game. So, I mean, going into the playoffs, we really just want to go in, take our day off tomorrow, rest up, and come in at um, playoff game, see who, we, see who we got, and just and compete from there and, and get another win and go from there. What I noticed watching you guys, uh, although you guys are all sort of auditioning for jobs here, and some of you for the same job, there's a level of connectiveness, uh, cohesion between the between the guys on the bench. Why is that important to bring to this uh, league? Uh, I mean, I feel like it just helps the flow of the game more when you got guys on the bench who's who's cheering the guys on on the court. Um, I think it, it puts everybody at a at a sense of level level headedness. Um, I mean, the guys come in and they pick up where the guys who were on the court left off. And, um, I mean, I just think that's big that everybody um, bonds like the way we do. So, Last question for you. Uh, you had a great season in the G League, G League All-Star. Uh, now you get the contract, training camp coming up. Uh, how do you feel? How surreal is this? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I've probably been asked that question so many times in the past few days. But um, I tell everybody, like, I'm just excited for the opportunity. And, I mean, I'm going to finish up here in Summer League, and I'm going to go back home and work out and continue to work up until training camp and going to training camp with the mindset that, that I'm trying to um, be an official Raptor. So.